GGRC. Hey everybody, welcome to another E3 2019 trailer reaction with me, RC, here on GGRC. And this big fluff ball over here is Sushi. Still sleeping, been sleeping all day. He don't care about E3. I mean, that's I'm just going to spread that rumor right now. I don't think he cares that much. But right now, we're going to check out The Outer Worlds, which uh, every time I say it, I always want to say The Outer Limits, like that old horror show, you know, the anthology horror show or sci-fi show, despite, uh, you know, genre, people want to argue genre. Regardless, great little show. And The Outer Worlds always makes me think of that when you say it. Uh, I love this art piece, by the way, the guy sort of standing there scratching his head like where am i what is going on here uh so this game looks really really cool um this was announced last year i think maybe even before that and it's a game that um i definitely was interested in but now that i see what this game is now i'm definitely interested in it it feels like fallout in space before bethesda can actually get to uh releasing their game um forget the name of that one what was it it's been a year since they announced it and they didn't show it today so I forget. I don't know. Whatever. Either way, <laughs> the Outer Worlds is going to be here, and it looks cool. So here, uh, let's jump into it. Okay, let's uh, rewind back to the front here, and here we go. Pretty great shot. Some amazing shots in this game. Love those shots where you can see the other planets. Pancakes. Bumblebee Brewing. I love all the brands. It's very fun. So yeah, Fallout in space, but it's also got like a tinge of Borderlands to it as well. Whoa. So basically, they're letting you know you can play however you want. You get to fight space apes that throw rocks at you. You can slow down time. You could drop kick dudes. I thought this was great, too. Slow down time, shoot them in air. You could see the Fallout influence, though, for sure. Yeah, he shrunk the guy. Very cool. Again, love this. The Outer Worlds coming out in October. So it's right around the corner as well. And uh, this seems like it's going to be a great game for people going into the holidays because it looks like it's going to be one of those games that's just gigantic. There's a lot to do, uh, very much like, you know, Fallout. When Fallout 3 came out, I have this uh, these these great memories of playing that game through the holidays and just really, really enjoying it. Um, this seems like one of those games that you would get in uh, November or close to Christmas and just like play through your break enjoying because there's so much to do. But it also seems like they're adding in a lot of variety. And I mean variety as in like how you can play, how you can build your character. Um, they even mentioned in the trailer, you know, you're going to be able to play how you want, whether you can be a hero or a complete psychopath. Um, now, uh, the one thing they don't show is they don't show any of the character building stuff. You, you know, they don't go into tech trees or anything like that. And that's what I'm really interested to see is just how deep does this stuff go in this game? Because that's what I'm really interested in. Um, you'd be able to play how you want, 
but how is that going to affect everything else? How is that going to affect how you can build your character? That's the kind of stuff I definitely want to see with this game. But regardless, I am already like big time like, wow, this looks awesome. And I, I love the aesthetic of it. And I, I, I know I've said it a couple of times, but I absolutely love the, the I hope that's the box art for the game. The guy on the front where it has the, the outer worlds, because this is just like some beautiful logo work that they got going on for the game and within the game for all the brands and stuff too so uh either way that's just my uh graphics design <laughs> mind talking there uh but regardless in in either way like this is just a, a game that is like really high up on my list and i i love when that happens when the game kind of comes out of nowhere and it's just like oh yeah i really want to play this one I, I guess uh last year when i first saw it i was kind of like ho-hum about it but then when you see it a year later it's like Oh, yeah. Yeah, this jumped to the top of my list for sure. Uh, so, yeah, Outer Worlds looks great, guys. Uh, really looking forward to that one. I'll see you all in the next trailer reaction video.